are going to the thrift store. We're gonna find some good stuff. Let's go. It's cold again. I have to go in and get my gloves. this pile of clothing in the car in quarantine for a few days let me show you what i got from the thrift store weather's crazy it's been raining then it gets warm i'm gonna wash these up so i'm just gonna show you the prices real quick i got this for 75 percent off isn't that a cute shirt it's gray it's long it's by nautica it's got little navy stripes on the sleeves sort of a boat neck collar i like it percent cotton and this was $125 originally $5. Next shirt is really cute. This is a super thick heavyweight cotton. It almost feels like a towel and this was in the boutique area for $12. Got it 75% off so it came to $3. It's a Banana Republic medium. I hope it fits. I don't usually throw clothing on the floor, but I'm gonna wash it up. This looks kind of fancy. It's by Michael Kors. $6, 75% off. So I got this for $150 and it is full of cat hair, but the material feels pretty good. So I'm gonna get some tape and pull off the cat hair and then I'm gonna get this in the washer. Into the wash pile. Jeans are called Riders. They're made by Lee. They look like they're the right length, but we're gonna find out. I hope they fit. It's hit or miss with clothing because I don't try anything on until I wash it. They were $5. I got this pair for $125. Into the wash pile. Jeans, they have the cutest pockets on the back. I really like that design. Well, tied, cold, delicate, start. I got the jeans in the washer. I've got my clothing pile here. My shoes are drying. It's been raining really hard. It's lightened up a little bit. Turtle got rained on. I'm rolling out this sweater here. The tag says this is merino wool plus cashmere. It's very soft. 
how to get the, the roller on the outside of the sweater and then turn it inside out and then roll the inside because it's got cat fur. Time to roll off this cat fur. I got this as good as I could get it. I used about four sheets, one, two, three, plus this one. To the laundry bin. While the jeans are washing, let me show you this fabric shaver that I got. I bought this on Amazon, it was $10.99. I hope this works good. This is what it comes with. Oh look, a little brush. It's an awfully big manual for such a little product. Need two AA batteries. I think that's a AA. Oh, uh, we have one. Hmm. I know what to do. It's been this time for about two or three weeks now, maybe more. The clock stopped working. I've got a battery. I can pull that out. Okay, making it work. Well, not working. <laughs> Let's head on out and get those batteries. Gotta use that fabric shaver. We're back. We got some Energizer Bunny batteries. All right, we're gonna pop this off and try this again. Pop these little batteries in. There's one and two. Fantastic, it works. You stick around so I can show you how I use this fabric shaver on one of the new items from the thrift store. My steps in, it's raining. Let's get inside. To the slippers. Oh, look at that beautiful candle. I'm still doing laundry. It's been a rainy day and I'm gonna get this done. I got the dryer rack above a vent in the kitchen jeans gray shirt blue and white top the dryer rack is above the washer and this is the cashmere sweater everything should be dry in about two days these are the new jeans they do fit they're the perfect length these are the ones with the really cute pockets i like it i've got the black sweater on it's kind of oversized let me flip this up so you can see it got this drop sleeve on here, a lot of rim right there. So this is for like a real casual, slouchy kind of look. It's got these little slits on the side. It's cashmere, so it's really soft and nice to touch. It'll keep me warm in the winter, but this is a good spring sweater in between season until it warms up. I like the outfit, it's less than $5. I'm so excited to show you what I got from the thrift store. They had to put it in a trash bag, it's so big. All right, let's open this up. Originally, this was $20, it was 75% off, so I got this for $5. Now, I did not open this at the thrift store, I just looked at the quality of material on it and was happy with it. I don't know if this is stained up. I have no idea. We're gonna find out together. Take this outside and shake it out just in case. All right, I went outside and shook it out. You can see that it's a reversible, lightweight, thin comforter. It sort of feels like a towel and I was really attracted to the colors. I think it's gonna be really, really beautiful and I'm not too familiar with the brand. It's called Peacock Alley, and it looks like it had some tag on it here that was cut off, but I'm going to get this in the washer. It says it's made of cotton and that it was made in Portugal. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be a really nice comforter for the summer. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. My new thrift store shirts are dry. I'm gonna get those put away 
I had to free up the space on the dryer rack to put the blanket on there. A little chilly, I got the heat on and the blanket over top of the vent, so hopefully this won't take too many days to dry. I'm sure it'll be fine. The blanket is dry, but it's got all these fuzzies on here. So we're gonna use the fabric shaver. Let's see how it works. I have to take this off, it's like a guard. Let's try again. Worked just on this one section here. And look at all the fluff and fuzz that came off of it. Wow, look at that. I think it's gonna make life a little bit easier. Very glad I got this. It's one way to take a thrift store blanket and renew it. This is really helpful, especially if you don't have a dryer. So whenever I wash my clothing or blankets, it does not remove the fuzzies. So I live with the fuzzies, but this will help me. Comforter has been defuzzed and here's all the fuzzies right there. Look at all that. Mr. Turtle, you know you have to stay home and guard the house can't go to the thrift store with me today, but I'll bring you back a surprise. I'm back from the thrift store. Let me show you what I got. Come on in. All right, the first item that I've got here is a makeup case, and this is so nice. This was $3, but I got this 75% off, so it came to just 75 cents. The next item is this pair of pants, and these are made by Lance, and the zipper works just fine. I'm gonna get these in the wash. I like the look of the pockets. They're slanted, and that's supposed to be slimming. Now the next item, oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. The Lands End pants were $125. The next pair of pants is by Talbot's, and it's a petite, so, I don't know if they're gonna fit, but these were 125 and the zipper on this is perfect. And these are like capri style pants. It's got some fancy buttons on the side. So I'm gonna get both of these pants washed up and hopefully they fit. Into the wash you go. What I do is I put the tide in here. I try not to put it directly on the fabric. Cold, delicate, start. All right, I got both pairs of pants from the thrift store on the dryer rack. This should be dry in just a couple days. Got a good thrift store haul right here. Originally $15, I paid $3.75. It is made by Banana Republic Silk, size medium. I hope it fits. Sometimes the mediums are more like a small, but we'll find out. The sleeves are pretty nice. It's got these pockets on the front, really pretty, very soft material. I like the color a lot, so I'm hoping this will fit. We shall see. Very pretty shirt. This is what the back looks like. It has the fabric gathered in the center across the arms. It looks like it's see-through, so I'll have to wear an undershirt with it. This shirt was originally five and it came in at 125. It says super something, I don't know, super me, super tile, I'm not sure. Hundreds, two ply fabric woven in Italy, Annette Dean. Really pretty top, love the color, love the purple. So I hope it fits. I'm gonna get it washed up and we'll find out. Familiar with the Annette Dean brand, so I don't know what store that comes out of, but it looks like it's well made. It's cotton, it feels really soft. Inside tag says, made in Hungary, 100% cotton. Back to that purple shirt, I think the tag says super fine. So when I put this shirt on, maybe I'll be super fine. He said it's delicate wash, you know what I'm doing? I'm washing the delicates. So it's been a while since I got all this set up and start hand washing the bras. I've got that beautiful green Banana Republic silk shirt hanging up. I just hand washed that. 
can't wait to wear it, see what it looks like. But the bathroom looks like a laundry mat right now. I hand washed the silk shirt and it's drying. It's almost completely dry. Silk dries really quickly. I'm excited to try this on to see if it fits. I just put my hand through the sleeve just to see if it'll fit. It looks like I'll have plenty of room to be able to button up. The green silk is totally dry, so let's try this on and see if it fits. I hope so. This is kind of looking small. I think I'd have to lose about 10 pounds, maybe more, for this shirt to fit right. It's too tight in the arms. Like, I ain't got no movement right there. So, do you think I should send this to Thread Up, the online consignment shop, and try to get some money back on it? The arms are just too tight. It's like skin tight. But, what do you, what do you think? I'll say this, I absolutely love the green color. Little notes, I need a large next time. We're gonna try on the white silk top and I need an undershirt. Not too sure about this because it's a medium, but we're gonna find out if it fits. It sort of fits like in the stomach area, but not here and definitely not the arms. It's just way too tight. Make a muscle. I might break the fabric <laughs> like the Incredible Hulk. And here's the purple shirt. It feels very tailored. I like the color a whole lot. It is on the verge of being too small. I have to wear a camisole underneath in case one of the buttons pop. But I like it a lot. I think it's real nice. It has a very classic look to it, so I'm happy with it. Well, I just washed this little garlic pot that I got from the thrift store. You would have seen it on the last Thrift With Me haul. I just love it. It's so beautiful. And it was 75% uh, off $6, so it was $1.50. I'm really excited to use this. I think this is a lovely little pot. It looks to be from 1998, so that's 26 years old. Let's have some coffee. That is so good. Anything from the thrift store that you really liked, please let me know what it was. Would you have bought the wool sweater with the cat fur or left it on the rack? I don't mind buying things that need work. What would you have done? Let's examine this bag closely. I don't think this was ever used because I don't see any residue on the inside. This Lancome, I know that's a makeup product line. The little metal piece here still has plastic on it, so I'm, I'm gonna say it was never used. Yeah, I don't really wear makeup. I actually <laughs> haven't worn makeup in years, so uh, I'm not going to use this for makeup. But what would you use this for? I gotta change this up. You remember this board? I got this, I believe, for $5 brand new at the thrift store. Look at all the letters. This is a little hard to find. Wow, this took me forever to make this sign. Next video comes out on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can make it. It's going to be a food pantry haul. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.